<laughs> Dude, that looks so good. Live blue crabs. Look at this. You just pick the ones that you want. Lots of different fish. Look at all the apia, mullet, redfish. This is everything you can think of here. Those are our fish. They fell. They fell on the ground. Paid. Good to go. Although we got the fish, now the mission is to keep them alive. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video here today. We're starting the video off with six fresh watermelons. I just picked these suckers up this morning and uh... Fresh watermelon on a sunny day. Tastes good, huh? I've got five more of those for all the pigs at the farm. Look at Buttercup's face. Look at his face, so wet, full of watermelon. How's that taste, mama? Good? She went. <laughs> Today we actually have a sponsor, so before we get into the video, here's that. You ever just go fishing and not catch anything? Today's video is sponsored by Fish Clash, where fishing is actually fun. Fishing Clash is actually free to play on both iOS and Android. There are hundreds of different fish species to catch. I've been playing this game for the last couple weeks and it has been so much fun. Here we go, we're casting out. Oh my. We gotta keep it between that line. Come on, let's go. We got this, we got this. Oh my goodness. Almost there. Got it. Oh my, it's a dark grouper. You can collect and upgrade fishing rods, lures, and even other equipment to catch bigger and better fish. Over a dozen fisheries across the world to fish. Players vs. Players, available through duels, challenges, tournaments, and even championships. Events every single week to discover and play new adventures. Use my gift code FISHWITHPAUL, that is FISHWITHPAUL, to get a special reward. Now with my gift code, you will get 130 pearls, one gold pack of lures, the Pro Florida license, and an exclusive avatar for the total value of $15. To redeem your gift code, just follow those three simple steps. My new gift code will be available to all new users of Fishing Clash until September 3rd. So you have until September 3rd, so hurry up, download the game through the links down in the description below, and I will see you there. Thank you so much, Fishing Clash, for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, enjoy. We are back at the farm. I cannot wait to show you guys what I have in store for you today. This place is called Food Town. It's a market, a straight up food market, where you can buy living things. So like living tilapia, eels, I mean crabs, probably some other crazy mysteries that you would never think you could buy, but literally buy to eat there. And this is where you buy it. Emmy, uh, that's how I feel about this place. <laughs> but the goal is, after we feed the animals here, it's windy, wow. Wow, it's windy. We're going to go there and actually try to save as many living things as we see. First, we're gonna feed all the pigs. <laughs> Dude, that looks so good. That is so refreshing on this, a nice hot day. We're gonna bury his face in it. You know, he buries his entire face in the watermelon. There we go. Everyone eats now. <laughs> he screams as he grabs. Ready? <laughs> Goop and goat grain right there. Stuff tastes good, trust me. I've tried it. It's not good at all, actually. <laughs> Watch out, Bubba. Boots. There you go. <laughs> I've tried giving the goats watermelon before. But for some reason, they don't really like it. I thought watermelon would be like a, a treat for goats. Apparently not. He took it to his corner. What are you doing, Bubba? He wants no one touching his food, dude. <laughs> a little bit of grain, a little bit of grain. Some grain for the turkey. Yeah. Is it weird that I eat my pigs? What's wrong? What's wrong, Chris? Something funny? <laughs> oh, whoa! Ooh. He said watermelon? <laughs> they got grain, they got watermelon, and uh, yeah, we're gonna move on. They're literally all waiting. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. I just found fruit in the back of my truck. There you go. <laughs> well, my landscapers are here. Not the best time to film, I guess, uh, but yeah. Pigs are eating. These guys are eating. Hello there. I'll take a couple scoops of grain as well and just kind of give them some of that. 
We are outside of Food Town right now, and we're about to head in, but I gotta use my phone because they're kind of strict with cameras in there for obvious reasons. So I'm gonna switch to the iPhone right now, and we're gonna head into Food Town and see what kind of animals we can rescue. Well, I guess that's an exit. That's more like it. Look at all this food. The pigs will go crazy in here. Live? Blue crabs, look at this. You just pick the ones that you want. That's crazy, man. There's so many. Now it's like isolated, so they're in this tin that keeps them cooler. So they're still alive, but they're kind of out of it, if you know what I'm saying. Look at all these fish. These are bonita. That's what we were just catching on the boat the other day. We got a big old salmon here. Lots of different fish. Look at all these. Those are pompano, tilapia, mullet, redfish. This is everything you can think of here. Those are all sand perch right there. All sand perch. Lots of snapper. I mean, so much fish and they're all on ice. Look at all that. Look at the catfish. Those are all catfish. Flounder. That's flounder. We got flounder. Oh, shark. See all that is all shark. A big carp right there. And fish. There is a whole lot. And I'll be honest, last time I was here, this exact spot here had live eels and live bullfrogs. So I don't know where those are now. Maybe they don't sell them anymore. Maybe too many people complain, whatever it may have been. I don't know what I am here to get and save is these live tilapia back here. They are uh, in a little tub back there. You got some lobsters up there too. All those lobsters, but these have live tilapia. And that's what I want to save today. So um, what they will do though, is put the tilapia just in the bag, no water at all. So I'm gonna have to ask for water. Two tilapia in separate bags. And then can you put some water in there so they don't die? You can't do the water? Oh, last time I had, I, they added a little bit of water for me. Now that I think about it, I should have brought a bucket. Should have brought a bucket with water. Here's our fish. He fell. He fell on the ground. Got him. So there's no way you could put a little bit of water in there? So I, I got him. I got him to put water in. It was a mission, but I got it. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, you two, I just saved you. I just saved them. That was a mission getting, just water in the bag of Pharaoh's was a very hard thing to do. He was like, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. Then I had one of the managers back there come out and they put water in it for me. We got him. Paid, good to go. And something to keep these alive because although we got the fish, now the mission is to keep them alive. I gotta put the camera down. We got them. They're in the bucket. There's enough water for them to at least get home. Now, luckily, these are tilapia. So they're like one of the strongest freshwater fish. They could pretty much survive. If we had a nuke, they would survive. There they are. As long as they got their heads underwater, they should be fine until we get home. Beautiful, beautiful fish. There was a couple of tilapia in that store, of course. There was more than just these two. But when he said I couldn't get water, I was to the point then where I was like, I might as well save as much as I possibly can. That's about two, because two will only survive in a bag. And as you can see, this bucket is full. So what I will say, if you guys want to see me do another rescue there at Food Town, but instead have coolers loaded in the back prior to arrival, I will have like 10 coolers in the back and buy every single fish they have there. You might be saying to yourself, Paul, you buying these fish are only going to make them want to buy more to restock, but I promise you with the amount of traffic in and out of that store, these tilapia would have been sold within a couple hours and it would have been to someone eating them and they would buy new ones anyway. So you guys got very, very lucky and you're gonna have another chance at life, let alone life. Let me tell you, boys and girls, these things are gonna be living the high life, breeding, making babies. Let's uh, uh head home.
The water you guys are in absolutely reeks. It smells. Buckle them in. Let's go home. We've got both of our rescued tilapia right here inside this bucket. I added a little bit of fresh water to it. Whoa. He's on the ground now. Listen, it's better than him going on a plate, okay? That is a blue tilapia, and as simple as this, we're literally just gonna pick him up and put him into a pond where there's a lot more of these. He can breed with, he could uh, become friends with, whatever he wants. It's better than being on a dinner plate, and that was the whole goal of today's video. So, beautiful fish going in. One of two, one of two. There you go, buddy. Swims away. So that was the goal of today's video. I was going to actually rescue turtles and eels and whatever I possibly could have today. Unfortunately, just had tilapia. This is a smaller one that we rescued. Look at that. From being in that little tank, they're all beat up. You can see their fins are chewed. They're not in good shape, that's for sure, but they are tilapia. Sometimes they're bred for food. In this case, this pond's actually breeding pond so that I can feed my fish, but just the smaller tilapia. I don't feed the big ones, so these guys are already past the size that I need. So they'll just be big breeders for me here at the farm. Last one going in right now. The second rescue of the day, and they will live a happy life from here on out. No dinner plate for them. If you guys want to see more of that, I'm telling you, smash the like button. We're going to do 30,000 likes. At 30,000 likes, I will go back to the food market, bring coolers, and just buy every single tilapia they have. If you want to see it, smash the like button. That is all I got for you today, so thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you right back here in the next video. Peace out.